In this animation, you will see how name suffix routing works across forests in Active Directory directory service. Name suffix routing is a mechanism that provides authentication across forests. Within a single forest, name suffix routing is not needed. For example, if a user logs on as john at contoso.msft and wants to access resources in the fabricam.msft domain in the same forest, the global catalog server uses the user principal name, UPN, suffix, contoso.msft to authenticate the user's request. However, if John wants to access resources in the adatum.msft domain in a separate forest, you must establish a forest trust. When you create a forest trust, Active Directory enables routing for all non-conflicting UPN suffixes between the forests. If you create new UPN suffix names after the trust is established, suffix routing for the new suffix is disabled by default. You can manually enable routing for these suffixes in Active Directory domains and trusts. If a company implements Active Directory in multiple forests, but uses the same root domain name, a UPN suffix collision will occur. As a result, no routing of the UPN suffix contoso.msft will occur across the forest trust, and users will not be able to access resources from the other forest. You have just seen how suffix routing works across Active Directory forests. In this animation, you will see how name suffix routing works across forests in Active Directory directory service. Name suffix routing is a mechanism that provides authentication across forests. Within a single forest, name suffix routing is not needed. For example, if a user logs on as john at contoso.msft and wants to access resources in the fabricam.msft domain in the same forest, the global catalog server uses the user principal name, UPN, suffix, contoso.msft to authenticate the user's request. However, if John wants to access resources in the adatum.msft domain in a separate forest, you must establish a forest trust. When you create a forest trust, Active Directory enables routing for